Hi everyone, it's me Lizzie, and I'm back with another video. Today's video is gonna be me attempting to recreate that princess crown makeup that has been going around. I think I can do it. I'm not sure. I'm going to try to do it for you guys, and hopefully this works out. Um, and I hope you guys like my video. And if you do like it, please. Make sure to press the like button, and if you like me, please make sure to subscribe. Stick around to watch the video, and we're just going to jump right into the video. Okay, just to make this video not too long, um, I did my eyebrows off camera. If you really want to know how I got the eyebrows, I can make a separate video of how I did my eyebrows. But just let me know like in the comment section or by liking this video. Um, if you want me to make a separate video on glittery purplish red eyebrows, I guess. Okay, and now we're just going to start the video. This is probably going to be a voiceover because I want to listen to music. Okay? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to start off by applying my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer. I'm going into my Mono Renaissance palette and I'm using the darkest orange in the palette and I'm applying that into my crease as my transitioning color. I'm going to go back into the palette and use Venetian Red and I'm going to apply that into the crease and blend it out. The last color that I'm going to be applying is a love letter and I'm just applying that into the crease and blending all three colors together. I'm taking a clean brush now and blending out even more. Okay, this is where the fun starts. So I'm gonna first attempt to draw the crown on my eyelids using a angled brush with a concealer. The concealer that I'm using is the Tate Shape. This is like the third time I'm recording this seriously. The first time I was not in focus or in the lens. <clears throat> the second time I recorded this, I put the whole video together. I edited everything. It was ready to be uploaded into YouTube. And I accidentally deleted this part where, where I'm actually doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm going to start over again using my tape shape and drawing out the outline of the crown. I started by drawing like a line straight down the middle as a guide to where I want like the tip of the crown to be. After I finish drawing the outline of the crown, I'm going to fill it in with the concealer. I'm going to be applying my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. I'm using the cream eyeshadow side first and I'm going to be filling in the crown. Now I'm going to take the glittery side and fill in the crown for that extra glittery look. taking my dual glue brush on adhesive and I'm just going to apply dots at the very points of the crown where I'm going to be applying little rhinestones that I got from Sally's the one that you use for your nails Here I'm going to be taking two Ardell Double Up Lashes and stacking them on top of each other for a more full lash dramatic effect, I guess. Since I was doing this for like the hundredth time, I was going really fast and wasn't paying attention to what I was doing and I didn't let the product dry 
So if you don't want this to happen to you where it smudges like this, just let it dry. I also forgot to mention that I did add some of the eyeshadows to the bottom line to like smoke it out a little bit. And I went in with a white um, eye liner and I put it into the um, tear dot line so it could open up my eyes a little bit more. But once you're done, this is how your eye makeup should look. Moving on to the face, I'm going to be using my Flower Cosmetics Foundation in LF12. But before we apply the foundation, I'm going to be applying my Olay Wrinkle Revolution Complex Primer. I decided to mix in my foundation stick from Black Opal in the color Truly Topaz. And I'm just going in with one of my favorite sponges to blend it all out. Time for a little highlighting using my Tarte Tape Shape in the color Tan Sand. And I'm just applying that to the highlight points of my face and blending it out. I'm going to be taking my contour, my cream contour from my Pure Transformation Palette. And this is the first time I'm using it. I'm going to be contouring the hollows of my cheek. I'm going to be setting that cream contour with my favorite bronzer. I'm using my Ben Eye Translucent Powder to kind of clean up the contour a little bit. Now I'm taking my favorite blush and just dippling it onto my cheeks. Here I'm just wiping away all that loose powder. I'm going to be using my Real Color Strobing Palette and I'm using the really gold one to highlight. Now I'm going to be taking my Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the color Lolita and I'm applying that to the lips. I'm going to be topping it off with my Real Colors lip gloss and I think this is the color Champagne or Nude. And that pretty much completes my look. Just realized that I accidentally deleted my last clips so this is my completed look I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please make sure to like my um, video and if you like me please make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys on my next video bye